Hello, everyone. I've recently been dabbling in videography, and perhaps my biggest problem has been the inability to take smooth, moving videos without a tripod. I know some people can pull it off, but my impression is that they must have wheels for feet and shock absorbers for legs. Gimbals and steady cams would be the solution, but they're bloody expensive and kind of bulky. That is why when DJI announced a gimbal-stabilized camera packed with amazing new tech that, though not cheap, will not actually murder your wallet in cold blood, I took all the money out of my wallet and literally threw it at my screen. Actually, I used my credit card, since throwing money at my screen wouldn't have done anything other than make a mess. Think I'm crazy for forking over 650 bucks for what many clickbaity news outlets are calling a robotic selfie stick? Well, you might be right. But let's see if you don't change your mind after hearing what hit this selfie stick. Ugh, I detest that name. As working in its favor. First of all, the gimbal is stabilized on three axes by brushless motors that should be should counteract the wobbles of even the most unsteady cameraman. The camera is no slouch either, being capable of 4K video, slow motion HD video, and 12 megapixel still photos. The photographic side of this camera is an interesting one, since it supposedly is capable of two seconds or longer handheld exposures and perfect automatic in-camera panoramas. I'm awfully fond of capturing time lapses, but the thing about time lapses is that you usually have to use a tripod to take them, or else your video will be all shaky and hard to watch. The Osmo can not only take handheld time lapses, but can do so while also panning the camera, something that I've tried and failed to do even while using a tripod. Another great thing about the Osmo is that it is so small and compact that you can easily carry it along while out hiking. If you wanted to do the same with a full-size Steadicam and DSLR, you'd have to drag along a bloody great suitcase. The only caveat for some people, such as myself, <clears throat> is that you apparently need a smartphone for a video screen and controller and the included holder will only fit devices with a maximum of a 5.5-inch screen. So it would seem that all of us who would rather eat food than pay for an exorbitantly priced wireless connection, and who only, say, own a tablet, such as my NVIDIA Shield here, are out of luck. However, the good news is that it shouldn't be too hard to design a holder for a tablet in Autodesk, and then build it using a 3D printer, which is exactly what I'm having my brother do, since I can't be bothered to learn to use Autodesk, and he's rather brilliant at it. More on that project in a later video. So, in conclusion, I think the Osmo could be great for anyone like me who wants to start getting into more professional-style video, but have a limited budget to do it on. I just wish tech websites would stop calling it a selfie stick. Ugh! I said that word again. Now I'll have to go wash my mouth out with soap.